we've just been on Expedition Everest. If I look a little windswept, <laughs> it's a really good ride where you go up Mount Everest and there's a Yeti and you go backwards and it's really good. I really like the theming in this area with all the um, prayer flags. It looks really cool. We've got a dinner reservation at Tiffin's, um, which is part of the Rivers of Light dining package. So we get our meal now and they give us a ticket to go and see Rivers of Light later on, which is really good because Rivers of Light is still quite new, so it gets quite busy. And we wanted to make sure we get in to see it. We're at Tiffin's. It's a really nice restaurant in the animal kingdom. Here's my starter. I've got the black pea fritters. What have you got, Phil? Look how nice it is in here. These animals might be like rivers of light. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> and look at the columns with the animals on. Here's my vegetable curry. It smells really good. It's got the grain underneath the vegetables and the sauce separate. And Phil's got wagyu beef. Really thick bits. <laughs> that looks really red. You are a bit raw though. No, it's just like that. Phil's got purple potato <laughs> and rainbow carrots. <laughs> it's purple all the way through. I wonder if it tastes like a normal potato. It's a little different. It's kind of hard to say why. It tastes really good. <laughs> I'll eat more. Yeah, <laughs> Here's our desserts. I've got lime cheesecake. It's got um, green tea sponge and topping on it. And Phil's got guava mousse. They look very fancy. That was really good. I'm not used to eating a three course meal in the middle of the day. I'm really full up now. Um, but a lot of people think that um, food at Disney World and theme parks is all like burgers and fries and hot dogs and things. And there is a lot of that at the counter service um, restaurants. But there are also really fancy restaurants like this one and some really nice places to go as well. Nick, somebody just came up to me and they said they're leaving the park now and they had one fast pass left and they gave it to us because they didn't need it anymore. Isn't that nice? It's valid on any ride we want except for the ones in Pandora. What should we choose? This is our first time going into Pandora. That's the newest section of Animal Kingdom. It's Avatar themed and it looks really pretty and tropical. It's the floating island. They're gonna fall on us. We're gonna come back later on when it's dark and the lights are on. I've heard that they have things glowing and it looks really beautiful. And we're not going on the rides here right now because we've got fast passes for another day and the standby times are really long. It's the Tree of Life. This is the centerpiece of Animal Kingdom Park. And can you see on the trunk, it's got all animals carved on it. There's an eagle, can you see? And a seahorse. Some of them look really hidden. But where's the hamster? The crab. Where? There. Oh, oh he's looking right at us. <laughs> There's his eyes and his pincer. <laughs> and a deer here. This one's obvious. Parrot over there. And the uh, Komodo dragon is under him. Oh yeah. That's quite subtle. Yeah, there's hundreds of them in there. We sneaked into the Rivers of Light Theatre and there's nobody here. It's actually really nice to get away from the crowds because it's quite busy in the park today. It's like empty. We'll be back here later for the show. We're going on the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail up here. Oh, look, they've got a wheel. <laughs> it reminds me of my hamster Tamago. I miss Tamago. Oh, some baby rats. They're all treading on each other's heads. They could all have their own rooms, <laughs> and they're all all together there. <laughs> He's just chilling. Kilimanjaro Safari, so we got a fast pass. It's an actual safari through the savannah around the back of the park on a truck like that, and they do a commentary to tell you about the animals. What animals will we see? I'm not 
a wildebeest because I don't think I could run 500 miles to do anything, much less eat. Now they will migrate in groups of up to 1.5 million wildebeest. So there's just a few hanging out here grazing. Looks like there might be a couple in front of the truck as well. Rivers of light, it's got dark really suddenly and it looks so pretty. boats and uh, projection on water and fountains and it was all about um, water and light and the living world <laughs> and all the different sorts of animals and it just looked really magical it was a bit like the northern lights but on water I actually don't know how they did some of it where they made the water look really sparkly but it was really good and really different from the other nighttime shows each of the parks has its own show at night time some, a lot of them are fireworks and some of them are shows like this. And this one was a bit different, it was really good. If you wanna see Rivers of Light, it's on twice a night at the moment. I'm not sure if that's the same all the year round. Um, so check the times it's on. And because it's quite new, it is really popular. The whole theater was full up. So you need to get that early, or if you can, I would recommend getting a fast pass. You can book them in advance. Or what we did was the Rivers of Light dining package, um, which you can book in advance. You need to search for the dining package. You can't just book the restaurant on its own. Um, you need to book the dining package separately. Um, you can eat at Tiffin's, which we went to, or Tusker House, that's a buffet with characters. And you get the meal, and you also get a pass to get into Rivers of Light, and you get a special section, which gives you a good view. So that was a really good deal. And it, if you're on the dining plan, which we were, it costs two table service credits. It's no extra for the, um, Rivers of Light dining package compared to if you were just eating there normally, so it was a really good deal. Look at the Tree of Life at night, they've got all colours on the animals. Uh, oh wow! Can you see the owl? Pandora to see how it looks at night. I've heard it looks really beautiful. I don't know if you can see, but the ground the ground's glowing. <laughs> That's hard to say. <laughs> oh wow, and my shoes. <laughs> you can see my bracelets. <laughs> it's like a rave. It looks amazing, it looks a lot more magical at night compared to during the day, although it was beautiful during the day as well. Can you see the floating islands up there? It's actually huge. We're back at the Animal Kingdom. I really like this park. We tried to get up early to go on one to go on the boat ride in Pandora, the Navi River Journey, but we didn't make it in time. And the wait time's already 90 minutes. We had a fast pass for it yesterday, but Phil was poorly, so we didn't make it. So I don't know if we'll be able to go on that one, but we do have a fast pass for the other ride in Pandora later on. I don't know why some people don't like the Animal Kingdom as much as the other parks. It's one of my favorite ones. It's not a zoo, but there's animals and there's rides and there's shows. And I really like the theming because it's um, like some areas are like Nepal and the areas around Everest. So it's a bit different from typical theming that you'd expect. And there's areas seem like Asia and Africa. And it's just really nice with all the plants. It's really tropical. Look at that waterfall. It looks 
so nice on a hot day. Here we are in Asia. We're going to check the queue for Expedition Everest because it's still quite early in the morning. I just think the theming's a bit different from a typical theme park here. And the walkways are a bit more winding. Uh, it's not doesn't feel as concretey as some theme parks. Look, there's monkeys up there. <laughs> are they spider monkeys, I think? They look really fluffy. They must be so hot today. Here we are at Everest. Look at all this camping stuff, ready for your trek to Everest. It looks all misty over there. Here's some decorations just on the side by this shop. Look, the Yeti is real. <laughs> Dancing Yeti in. Take your chances where the Yeti dances. Even the signs for the toilets are in theme. Look at the detail on this truck. They're serving ice creams and Coke floats. <laughs> The fanciest ice cream van ever. Oh, this is a great view. We're in the Kiefer Expedition Everest and the queue is like a museum of the Yeti. Hi! <laughs> These animal masks. There's the Yeti. Look how angry the deer is. He's looking at you, Bethany. This is a good queue because there's so many things to look at. And the museum's about, is the Yeti real? What do you think? The weight of the evidence leads to the inescapable conclusion, the Yeti is real. <laughs> oh, we're about to go on. Through there. Look, it says Amy on the poster. Here's the track, it's really steep coming down the mountain. Here's Dinoland USA. This one is the primeval world. It's a bit like the spinning ride at Orton Towers, I can't remember what it's called. Over there they're having a going out of existence sale. Everything must go. We're going on the Triceratop spin. Yeah, a bit wet, but nowhere near as bad as on the rapids the other day at Islands of Adventure. Good. Are you wet, Bethany? Yeah. <laughs> We're just getting into Pandora. You can hear all the insects. <laughs> and there's the floating islands up there. Floating mountains. I love this section, it looks really cool. We've got a fast pass for flights of passage and there was a guy back there with a sign saying the end of the line is here and it was nowhere near where the ride is. Um, the queue, the wait time, I don't know what it is now, but earlier it was three hours, it's so popular. Over here is the Satuli Canteen, which looked like a pretty good place to eat. I hope we can go there later. Look, here's one of the avatar suits next to Pongu Pongu Refreshments. This is Amelia, are you excited to go on avatar? Yeah. <laughs> Are you scared? Um, oh, it's not scary, it's going to be fun. We're going in, I'm glad we're in the fast pass queue because the normal queue looked crazy. We just went on Avatar Flight of Passage and it was really good. If you've been on Soarin', it's a bit like that, except um, it's like you're sitting on a bike because you're on the back of your banshee and you're flying through Pandora and it feels like you're really flying in the air. They've got wind and you can smell all the landscape and it looks amazing, it's so beautiful. Did you like it as well, Bethany? Yeah, I really did like <laughs> The only bit I didn't like was um, at the start it's got restraints around your middle to keep you safe and they buzz them as you're connecting with your avatar and it was tickly. <laughs> Other than that it was really good. We're at the Satuni Canteen. I don't know if you can read the menu from there but it's pretty good especially for vegetarians. You can create your own bowl, you can choose your main ingredient, there's beef, chicken, fish or tofu. Then you select your base, there's quinoa and vegetable salad, red and sweet potato hash, mixed whole grain and rice and romaine and kale salad and then you choose a sauce to go on it. There's charred onion chimichurri, black bean vinaigrette or creamy herb dressing. There's um, other items as well but I'm going to go for that with the tofu. So it's actually a really good quick service meal option and it looks quite healthy as well. Here's my dinner. I've gone for the crispy tofu. I think it's crispy chili tofu so that should be nice. Um, I've got some vegetable and quinoa salad and the sauce I picked was black bean vinaigrette. Mm. What did you get, Amelia? I got a cheeseburger and it came with grapes and some crisps and I got a Sprite. 
Great, that's a, a cheeseburger hot. Mm. And here's girls with the beef. Potato and the creamy herb sauce, I think it was. Mm. It looks good. Let's eat. Yeah. <laughs> we just watched Festival of the Lion King. It was a show with all the best songs from the Lion was... King film. <laughs> what was your favourite bit? When that lady went to the air. Oh, the bird parrot lady. What about you? Um, I just loved all of it. <laughs> the whole thing? <laughs> yeah, even the song. Obviously. Next we're going on the Kilimanjaro Safari. Oh, the wait time on the standby entrance is 65 minutes, but we've got a fast pass. <laughs> Just leave in the park and we spotted an anteater over there. Oh he's gone in, he's gone back into the bushes now. 